El Paso's Mayor, Dee Margo. Live, Mr. Mayor, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your community. What is the latest? Well, the latest is they're still uh, processing the scene, and notifying next of kin, and then send the victims to, uh, to the morgue. Uh, families are still waiting to hear finally. Um, this evil act will not define El Paso. You know, Mayor, I want to commend uh, the medical community in El Paso. I want to commend the law enforcement. The police were on the ground so quickly. Uh, talk to us a little bit about what the feeling is on the ground right now in that community that has been shocked by this terrible tragedy. Well, this is just so atypical for our region and our, the culture of our people. We're the largest binational, bicultural region in, the, in North America. We've been this way for 350 years. Uh, I have said on several occasions, I do not believe this this act would have ever been perpetrated by an El Pasoan. It was somebody from out of town, deranged and evil. Um, but it's still kind of surreal. Uh, we're going to, yeah, it's just any time you lose a loved one, you, there's a pause and you try to figure out. Well, it's hard to imagine when they were there 24 hours previously. I think it's going to get a little tougher for us as time goes on. Not, not so much easier, but until we get through these 20 funerals, it's going to be tough. You know, that puts it, uh, what a stark image, 20 funerals. That is the cost of this kind of evil, as you put it properly said. Uh, when you, when reports are it was about six minutes between the call and when, and when the situation was contained. No shots fired. Can you tell us anything about what the officers initially encountered when they were at the Walmart that, you know, was the, was the shooter surrendering? What do we know about that moment? Well, what I gathered is you're right. The, the, the call went out at 10:39 a.m. yesterday morning. Uh, police were on scene at 10:45, six minutes later, and at 11:06 he was apprehended. Um, my understanding is that, that a, a, a policeman pulling up to to block off the street saw him and uh, stopped him, and uh, he had his weapon with him, but. Uh, uh, that's the gist of what I know. I haven't been fully briefed in specifics on that. Mr. Mayor, uh, as Americans are waking up across the country, are there things you need from the American people from the federal level? Well, from the federal level, I, you know, we're not sure yet. Uh, everybody's responding. We have all the law enforcement agencies, the FBI, our police department, uh, all uh, Texas uh, Department of Public Safety. They're all here. Uh, uh, you know, going through the scene and, and verifying uh, the evidence and, and, you know, building a case. Uh, I think we're okay on, on that resources. Uh, people are, uh, this is an outstanding, generous community. They're out giving blood. Uh, you know, they're visiting, they're, 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 we, we, they're having vigils. I'll be at a vigil this evening. Uh, this is just a. This is just. This is just not going to define us. We're we're a different community than than anything reflective of this whatsoever. We've been one of the safest cities in the nation for years. We've been ranked number one, number two, or number three, and we will continue to continue to be a safe city, and we are a resilient city. Mayor, we want to thank you so much for being here. Our hearts go out to you, to the entire community, and we just want you to know that all of the country is with you. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you.